Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone, and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Al Nasser versus France. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Now, who can he play it to? He must finish! There it is, the opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made! Well, here it is again, and he's just passed that into the net. That's a very good finish, you have to say. So France get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how they're going to react to the setback. Just failing to hit the target with his pass, and it'll be a throw-in. Garincha. And it's with Hadji. And Grealish. Real chance. It has to be, surely. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Hadji. Garincha. Holland. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, he didn't catch it badly, but certainly questions to be asked about the lack of accuracy there. Teo Hernandez. Teo Hernandez now. And Upamecano. Kylian Mbappe. Moving the ball nicely in search of an equaliser. Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Grealish. Holland. Gavincha. And Bellingham. It might still be problematic. Olivier Giroud. Teo Hernandez now. Holland. Garincha. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Well, good hands there from the keeper. Garincha. And Bellingham. Well, no danger now. So almost at half-time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. <laughs> and we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Aurelien Chouameni. Now Griezmann. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. And back underway with France looking to find a route back into this game. Olivier Giroud. Garincha. saw the situation developing Rabio Chouameni it's with Kingsley Coman Rabio and it's still on Grealish 
Haji. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Thirty minutes to go then. Coman. Now options are plenty. Mbappe, can he get them level? Griezmann. On to Coman. Grealish. And tremendous individual skill. Options in the centre. Oh, big opportunity. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, let's take another look at this. Grealish drifts past his marker with such skill and Haaland wasn't going to miss that one. From that sort of range, he was always going to score. What a well-constructed goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. 20 minutes remaining. Mbappe. Giroud. Could reduce the deficit. And the corner has been given. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Throw in for France coming up. Kylian Mbappe. Rabiot. It's with Giroud. Just the challenge that was required. Holland and unable to pick out a teammate and that'll be a throw Mbappe Rabiot now Griezmann might profit Giroud here's Mbappe Griezmann can he get one back? just the clearance that was needed Mbappe and cleared away Mbappe now Rabio Chouameni Giroud a good and fair challenge and there goes the final whistle and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their